a robot vacuum is supposed to, well, vacuum. So when it's barely picking up a thing, what gives? And is this a big red flag or is the Roborock QRevo Pro misunderstood? The new Roborock QRevo Pro is one of Roborock's newest floor bots, but what makes this one worth the high price? What differentiates it from the basic QRevo model? And why might it have looked like it wasn't cleaning? In my hands-on in-home review, I'm going to put it to the test. I'll try it out on both day-to-day -day cleaning and put it through some specialized cleaning tests to see if it's capable. I'll wrap this review with the pros and cons and let you know if I think I can recommend this robot floor cleaner for you. Let's take a look at what you get. QRevo Pro is a robot vacuum mop combo that will automatically vacuum and mop your floors. It comes with a special self-cleaning and maintenance stock that will not only empty the robot's onboard dustbin, it will refill the onboard water tank with fresh clean water. When a full cleaning cycle is over, it'll even wash and dry the mopping pads with warm water and warm air. And if it detects your mopping pads are especially dirty, it will give them an extra clean. So what separates the Pro model here from the original QRevo? There are three key things, and first is increased suction power, kinda. The QRevo Pro has a higher suction power of 7,000 pascals, which is 1,500 pascals more than the original QRevo. Even so, that is a bit lower than some other robot vacuums on the market today, which may have up to 10,000 pascals. The second thing that makes it pro is the flexi arm mop. The right spinning mopping pad here extends out from the body of the robot, touching the wall and more effectively mops baseboards and under toe kicks. Third is intelligent dirt detection. This works both on your floors and on the mopping pads themselves. The robot can recognize how dirty its spinning mop pads are and head back to the base station for mop washing when it's needed. And using that same technology, if it happens to see a lot of dirt on your floors, the QRevo Pro can also automatically re-clean any dirty spots. Now you do need to turn this feature on inside the app for it to take effect. All right, let's get to what you all want to see and that's the cleaning test. I run all my robots through the same set of cleaning paces. I'll run it around the house for a week or so just to see how it does with day-to-day -day cleaning. Then I put it through a series of more vigorous tests. I'll spill dry things like finer cornmeal, rice, and cracker crumbs on both carpet and hard floors. For the mop, I'll create wet spills on the floor and let some dry to test the mop's scouring power. With QRevo Pro, I was pretty happy with it on light day-to-day -day vacuuming, but once I started to give it more challenging tasks, this robot seemed to kind of lose it, and I was really confused. Let me back up. It's actually been an excellent mop. I ran it through a series of mopping tests, and it was actually really good at getting targeted spills as well as doing day-to-day -day wiping of the floor. When it came to the vacuuming, though, the performance seemed kind of abysmal. I ran it through my regular series of cleaning tests and was shocked when it barely picked up anything. It was almost like the vacuum had zero suction power. I was so disappointed in the performance, I decided I had to run the tests again, this time with the vacuum at maximum suction power. After a couple minutes, it was clear to me the vacuum just couldn't cut it. So is this the end of this review? Not yet. Puzzled about why such an advanced vacuum would be struggling so much, I decided to just double check the onboard dustbin. Now, despite the fact I'd only had it running for about five minutes before I did this, I was surprised to find the dustbin was crammed so full there was absolutely no room for any more dust or dirt inside. This is surprising because the robot is supposed to manage the emptying of its onboard dustbin by itself, and most robots will empty it after every cleaning run. It seemed to me though that it had been running all week in my house, but never once emptied itself. Since the dustbin was crammed so full, it was impeding the suction by a lot. With the dustbin now clear, I decided to rerun all my cleaning tests again. This time the performance improved from capturing only about 40% of debris up to about 60 or 70%, but I was still pretty unhappy with the performance. But it turns out that might just be a first pass for the robot. I let the robot carry on cleaning, and when it was actually done, I'd say it had gobbled up about 99% of all the debris in the room. Now, after that cleaning session, it also did go and empty its dustbin. 
Now, not sure if this was a one-off, I decided to rerun all the tests yet another time and capture it on time-lapse video. You can actually see the sorry state I left my floor in here, and while the QRevo Pro looks like it's missing stuff at first, if you wait until the end, you can see it does get everything eventually. Again, about 95 to 99% of all the debris on the floors was gone. So what do I make of all this? I'm honestly not sure and I'm kind of conflicted. Watching it tackle spills once, it seems like it's just not working, but if I leave it to do its thing, it does seem to get everything eventually. While I've never seen a vacuum clean quite like this before in my reviews, just because it has a different way of operating doesn't mean it's bad, just different. I want to touch briefly on a couple of other features that I really appreciated during my testing. The robot is excellent at avoiding obstacles thanks to its LiDAR navigation. The RoboRock app is also really easy to use and it lets you set weekly or daily schedules for your cleanings. And if you have a lot of carpeted areas, the QRevo Pro can automatically lift its mopping pads when it approaches them to prevent getting your rugs wet. Overall, I went from shocked and perplexed to really happy with this vacuum. Let's go over the pros and the cons. On the pro side, it's a fantastic mop with spinning scrubbing pads and that reaching mop really does work at edge cleaning and getting underneath overhangs. If you leave it to its vacuuming, it finishes the job leaving floors really clean. It's a nice looking station and reasonably compact given what's going on. It empties, washes and dries itself so there's very little maintenance for you. It avoids tangles and obstacles well and never got stuck. The battery life also lets me clean the whole house and it's got adjustable suction and water flow too. Downsides? It is important to understand how this robot works. It does have less suction than some other premium level floor cleaning bots, and that does show in the first cleaning passes. It seems to do a first and then a second pass over an area, so if it seems like it's not picking up everything after the first time it rolls over something, let it finish the job before you judge. I also wasn't able to figure out why the onboard dustbin wasn't emptying itself after my first few days of tests, but since that did seem to resolve itself, that's a good thing I guess, I'll just have to keep an eye on it. Though when I did go back and check again after a couple days, the dustbin still wasn't emptying. Checking the settings, it should be emptying after each clean, but since it's not, I think it might be time to contact Roborock customer service. And if this is happening to you, it's not normal, so reach out and get some help from the brand. Roborock QRevo Pro sells for about $14.99 Canadian or $9.99 US, and you can get it from Roborock or Amazon. And if you're not sure this robot has a place in your home, Roborock has many other options, and I've reviewed a lot of them. You can check out some of those choices right now.